I'm Dr. Mazia Ahmad Mahidin. So I've been working here as an obstetrician and gynecologist since 1997 and I delivered in fact the first baby in this hospital. Truthfully, uh, ovarian cancer is not the commonest cancer, but it's dangerous in the sense that it's silent, meaning there's not much symptoms, especially in the first the early stages of the condition, you see. And by the time they get symptoms, usually they're already in the late stage. someone in the family has got ovarian cancer or breast cancer then yes they can carry some genes and that can pass to the family members or the children some condition rare where that cancer in the breast can trigger ovarian cancer so generally ovarian cancer is not the commonest as i said maybe like uh, 17 in 100,000 population so if i say they have someone in the family the ovarian cancer then their risk is like three times more but otherwise uh, there's not much link to why we do get cancer below We have two age groups. The elderly above 60, 70 is at high risk of one type of cancer, ovarian cancer, which is a cancer that arises from the surface, the epithelium. But the younger population will have another type of cancer of the ovary, which comes from the center of the ovary, where the cells generate the future eggs. So we call them stroma cells, ovarian cancer. So these two types of cancer affects two different populations. Okay, in the first few stage, the stage one, stage two, it can be silent. Yeah, it can walk it all around the, as anybody else, and then we incidentally find this tumor by performing examination. But by the time they are late, meaning the tumor is so huge, they look like they are pregnant, or this tumor produces fluid in the tummy, we call ascites. So now the tummy looks like they are pregnant, you know, and they cannot breathe well, they cannot lie down well. So by the time they are. <laughs> Yeah, we worry that the lungs is already affected, and very very late they come here very thin, cacti we call it, not eating well, not doing, not looking well at all. We can suspect advanced stage already. But sometimes the uterus can bleed for unknown reason. Like why should a postmenopause woman suddenly come here with complaints of bleeding? So it, it might be due to many things, but one of them is an ovarian cancer, which has produced hormones to trigger the uterus. Pap smear test is, is specifically to screen for cervical cancer, so it will not detect ovarian cancer primarily. But during that visit, the doctor will check. So it's a good thing to have a pap smear done because there's an opportunity to check for the uterus and the ovaries. If there is high risk, like family history and whatnot, we will do an ultrasound, specific ultrasound, Doppler test as well with, for the tumor. And if there's anything suspicious, we'll go further by doing a CT scan. Ovary is a very uh, hidden organ. Yeah, they are two little, this size ovary, and very deep inside. We have to be vigilant. We have to go for screening properly. And if you can get them in a stage one, stage two condition, these are usually potentially curable conditions. You just have to go forward and do a regular screening for yourself. This is what I would advocate every woman above the age of 40. 